I ended up shooting it with the Sigma 14 to 24 millimeter. I'm showing you guys all the numbers so you can geek out on that <laughs> if that's if that's what you guys want to do. So uh, it's the 14 to 24 millimeter. Uh, Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, I wanted to go over how the mag grid, the 20 degree grid, how tight the beam is and how surprisingly cool it looked when we first did it. So if you guys have watched our previous video on the whole MagMod XL system works and how all the little pieces that it comes with, you got to see that it comes with a 20 degree grid that's over there. And then it also comes with the 40 degree grid right here. So this one will narrow down the beam but the 20 degree is really gonna narrow it down even more. And also, if you stack them up, it will narrow it down even more so. So uh, we didn't do that, we didn't stack it. I think I'll do a video on that next, so stay tuned. I think I'll, I'll post that in the coming week or so. In the meantime, I wanna show you guys a photo that I did with a 20 degree grid and the surprising effect that it gave us, even though I knew what it was gonna do, it still looked really cool when I looked at it after we took it. So in this situation, we were in Laguna Beach, one of our favorite spots to shoot at, and we were shooting in this little tunnel area. And what I wanted is I wanted the light to be just on our couple, but I didn't want the light to go anywhere on the rocks. As much as we possibly could, I wanted to control it. So, and because of that, I opted, instead of using the 40 degree grid, I wanted to use the 20 degree. So we set it up camera left, where it's gonna be hitting towards their nose, and we angled it so it hits more like their, the top of their torsos. I was okay that it didn't have light too much on the bottom. I really wanted to get a tight beam on them, so that's what we ended up going with. I ended up shooting it with the Sigma 14 to 24 millimeter. I'm showing you guys all the numbers so you can geek out on that <laughs> if, that's, if that's what you guys wanna do. So uh, it's the 14 to 24 millimeter uh, and I ended up going at 14 because I was far away enough where it wasn't gonna be stretching them out. So I'm very adamant when we use super wide angles, be very aware of stretching and all that. So I was pretty far away from them and I was shooting at F11 because we were shooting at native sync. I wasn't using high speed sync because it was unnecessary. There wasn't any depth of field that I was trying to achieve. So we stayed with native sync, uh, 250th, F11, and ISO was 200, usually 200, 100. That's kind of where I hover. I try not to go to 100 or native 50 if, you're, if a camera has that because at that point, I also feel like it kills the sensitivity of how much it picks up from the flash if that makes sense to you guys so instead of being at 50 and then making this struggle more i'd rather be at 200 and then the sensor is a little more sensitive to light which means it'll be a little bit more sensitive to the flash as well so that's the reasoning behind going to 200 instead of being at 100 or 50. i don't know if the a9 has a native 50. i think it has 80. in any case i don't go down there anyway but yeah that, that was pretty much as, as simple as could be the flash was probably if i'm being honest with you guys if we were at f11 then we were probably at a half power more than likely half power right around there because i wanted to really darken the surrounding i i wanted the sky on top to have detail i didn't want that to completely go away and, and get blown out so i did f11 two fiftieth of a second probably half power 20 degree grid camera left and yeah that was a shot so let me know if you guys have any questions i will be testing out stacking them next week to see if that makes any significant difference. I mean, it's already very tight at 20, so I'm really curious to see how much that will affect it. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, please leave them below. And thank you guys so much for watching.